What's up Hoopers, it's Coach Alex from Think Pro Basketball and in today's video we're going to go over some one-on-one -on -one unstoppable moves to help you get past your defenders. Let's get started. Alright Hoopers, well, let's get started, let's dive right into it. I've got four different moves for you today to get past your defender in a one-on-one -on -one situation so you can get to the basket or to an easy pull-up jump shot. So let's dive right into it. The first one we're going to work on is a hesitation to a between the legs dribble. All right, so I've got Buddy out here right here at the elbow position. I'm just gonna act as if I'm coming down in transition, full head of steam, you know, full speed. I'm coming at him. He's on his heels. I'm breaking him down with a hesitation between the legs dribble to get by to the rim. So what I'm talking about, It'll look something like this. So I want to give myself some space so I can get up some speed, so I can dribble into him. So when I get here and I get into my hesitation move, a couple key things you want to make sure you're doing on a hesitation. It's lift your eyes to the basket to sell as if you're about to shoot the basketball. So we want to lift and we want to also lift our body. So if you're a, a dribbler who dribbles the ball here, this is a great chance for you to raise up just a little bit to activate the defender. For somebody like me who dribbles the ball in almost an upright position, right, I've got to do a little bit more to sell it. I've got to lift and I've got to kind of bounce with it as well. So I've got to lift my eyes and lift up, okay, to sell my hesitation move. In order for this move to be successful, you have to get the hesitation part down. All right, so again, I attack, I hesitate. Now, after the hesitation, I want to rock that ball between the legs and get straight to the basket. Okay? I don't want to hesitate and come all the way out here to try to score because then the defender could take that angle and get back into the play. Right? So I want to get here, I want to hesitate, boom, blow by, get all the way to the basket and score. Okay, so this is a great move to use, like I said, in transition when you've got full speed, you're going out at the defender who's on their heels, backing up, trying to break down, and by that time they do, it's too late, they're watching you go score at the rim or into a pull-up jump shot. All right, so this is the first move. Check it out. This is the hesitation between the legs in full speed. Ooh, you know I like it. Ooh, you so enticing. Ooh, I'm so excited. Your bitches look the bestest. Ooh, I want to bite it. I can see it in your eyes. Don't deny it. I know you like it. I know you need that. And I'll supply it. Got that exclusive. And you should try it. The aura that I'm feeling chilling. It does something to me. All right, Hoopers, we're gonna move on to the next move. We're now gonna be working on it between the legs to a spin move off of the dribble. Okay, so with this move, what we wanna do is we wanna set up our between the legs. So we're gonna start out here, and there's the defender here. So we're just saying Buddy's in front of us, but then by the time we get there is where we're actually gonna start the spin. So we wanna come in here, set up the move. We're going between the legs. Now when we act as if we're gonna attack the basket, we're gonna plant our inside foot. So we're going between the legs. Now when we get here, we wanna plant this inside foot, meaning the foot closest to the defender and closest to the hoop. So now when I get here, I plant, I spin, I drop the ball off, and I score, okay? So, again, we set up the between the legs, boom. Now when we go into the spin move, plant that inside foot. Now when we spin, we're gonna spin this ball from our left hand to our right. So when I get here, I spin, I drop it over to my right hand so the ball's out and away from the defender so they can't poke it away. So I'm here, push, get to the basket, and score. Great move because you can use this in transition. Maybe if you just got the swing pass and the offense, boom, set them up, boom, and attack. Okay, great move to use. Here it is in full speed, the between the legs to the spin off the dribble. Check it out. To me, I'm shooting half court shots. I miss it just for get you know me. You know I need that. I can't deny it, and I will worship before I try it. Now I'ma break it down real simple. If you go inside, she controlling your mental. Damn the sentence. Flip my word upside down. Fresh Prince. I've been praying to her presence ever since. She make me wanna worship. All right, Hoopers, moving on to the third move. Now what we're going to work on is a full spin jumper. Okay, so you're gonna size up your defender. You can use whatever move you want, but we're out here on the perimeter in an isolation situation. Now when we go into the move, right, we're gonna spin off right into our jumper. 
very simple move as long as you're comfortable in the fadeaway situation, okay? So again, I want to size up my defender, attack him, boom, right into my shot. All right, it's a great one-on-one -on -one move, isolation situation as I mentioned, in order to break down your defender to create space. Now the creating space part is when we're here, and now when we spin, we're creating that space off of the spin move. Okay, so I attack, I create the space with the spin, because they may think I'm trying to get to the basket, but instead I'm using that space and separation to get to a fadeaway jumper. Take your time with it, okay? Go step by step. Work on whatever you want to do out here. Now when you get in this part, work on dropping that ball between, in and out, whatever it may be. Make sure that you get your footwork right. You have to get your legs underneath you in order to get enough power on your shot. All right, so this is a full spin right into your fadeaway jumper from full speed. All right, Hoopers, we're moving on to the fourth move. We're going to work on the post shot fake spin. So with this move, all we're doing is we're going to go two dribbles towards the middle. So one, two. Now when we get here, we're going with a shot fake. Okay, so that inside foot that I'm going in with is my pivot foot. So I'm coming in with the left foot. I'm going to shot fake here. So my left foot is my pivot foot. Now when I shot fake here, I'm going to spin back the same way I came, back this way, and score. Okay, so it's two, two dribbles in, one, two, inside foot, shot fake, spin back, and we're right in. So you have to make sure that left foot is established as your pivot foot so you don't get called for the travel. So we're in one more time, one, two, shot fake, spin, come back, and score. Now when we go on that spin move, so we're here and we spin back, we want to get that ball up on the glass or we want to lean towards the rim so we can score and get it up before the defender has a chance to block the shot. All right, so when I go, I'm here, I'm one, I'm two, I'm shot fake, I'm spin. Now look, when I go back and I drop that foot, it's towards the rim. I don't want to spin and spin out here away from the basket. I want to spin towards the rim to score. All right, this is the fourth move. Check it out in full speed. I took some shots, she took some shots. She's standing up, I'm falling out. I hit the ground, she climbed on top and said these words to me. This different, if you taste it, you gon' worship me. These pretty, see them bounce and sit up perfectly. You see my head, you spend my scent again. I did this purposely. Now you gon' pay like you wages, like your rent do. And pray twice a day, cause with the info, she said my body is a temple. All right, Hoopers, there you go. There's four different one-on-one -on -one unstoppable moves to help you get past your defender and get all the way to the basket. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and also a suggestion as we do appreciate those as you reel them in. Now, if you really want to join Think Pro Basketball, do me a favor, click the subscribe button, join Think Pro Basketball, check out all the great content we have to offer on our channel designed to help you improve your game. All right, now it's your turn to get out there, hit the gym, hit the court, put the work in, work on the four moves that you've seen in today's video to add to your game to help you become a better one-on-one -on -one player. And until I see you again next time, remember to always keep hooping.